what's happening guys this is my second video of the top 10 best camera or the photography apps for android devices so my previous videos was on the top 5 best photo editing apps i will be coming up with more best photo editing apps very soon and this one is for the best camera or say the photography apps so let's go ahead and get into the review so guys the first one here in my list is the snap camera just a moment so the interface of this camera is pretty much like the jelly bean camera the stock jelly bean camera you have this shooting mode oh sorry the image mode and the shooting mode here and you can jump onto your additional settings from here so i'll just come back to it in a moment so guys uh, with this camera it's really uh, very easy to use with a single hand you can just touch to focus okay like this and you can just take any image Okay, and you can just pinch into zoom like this so that works again moving on to settings you have this uh, you can rotate your camera you know you can disable the set of sound and you can create this grid kind of lines and so on again you can move on to this HDR mode here that's the high dynamic range enhances colors and so on so there you see you also can do various settings from here you know you can uh, increase the contrast decrease the contrast or you know just go with the neutral colors again uh, you can uh, you know zoom in and zoom out from here you can go on to your additional settings like the picture size video quality it's uh, right now it's in this uh, i mean 720p let's choose the full hd scene mode you have uh, various scene modes like the action portrait landscape night night portrait theater beach snow and so on so many uh, you know scenes to select from again the burst mode you have the burst mode focus mode you can uh, you know select between the auto macro and continuous so guys what i would like to mention here is you know in the focus mode i like the fact that we have the continuous option as well but with other cameras we just have the auto and the macro mode i mean basically so we have the jpeg quality effects as well we have so many effects okay so now you see i mean uh now i go back so that's the change you know this poster kind of effect to it so again going on to settings so we have so many additional settings here like the volume keys preview size so you can you know just uh, go ahead and uh, do your basic setup for this camera before you start using it you can also do this uh, additional setup for your video as well you know the video settings focus mode you know video snapshot and so on a video snapshot is you know while taking any video you can also take the snapshot let me just quickly show it to you say i go on to this video mode there you go this is how it works so guys here you also can do your additional setup for your various lighting conditions like the sunlight okay uh, the fluorescent light the tungsten light and the you know overcast uh, weather and so on uh, here we have the auto light uh, that's the auto adjustment so guys this camera is really easy to use you know you can just touch to focus and you can just start taking images or videos so that's really nice so that's my number one so guys the next one in my list is the camera fv5 this camera seems really professional you know um, right from the interface you have really professional kind of interface here you know you can set it down from here you also have the system battery percentage displaying you can shoot the image with this button you also can increase and decrease the brightness of uh, your you know scene you know you know you cannot uh, find it out in the camera right now but uh, if you use this camera you will see the change you can do that setup again you can uh, you know increase and decrease your exposure compensation you can choose the sensor sensitivity from here and you also can do your additional settings for your light metering mode you have this focus mode the macro smile sort and so on you also have this white balance mode for various lighting conditions you can enable and disable flash from here you have additional settings you can uh, enable the timer mode anti sake and so on so guys from here you can uh, you know set up your exposure value as well and you also can do your additional setup for this camera from the settings menu you have this general camera settings photo encoding settings viewfinder and so on so let's go on to general so image resolution 
long exposure resolution and the camera settings from here so you can do uh, you, you know you can play around with these settings and uh, you can do your setup as per your conditions so you know that's a really really professional camera here so that's my number two the next one in my list is the camera 360 again uh, this is another cool application uh, for taking your photos um, the interface is completely different from all the other cameras you know you can touch to focus and you can slide this uh, you know slider to zoom in and zoom out so again if you move this you know setup button uh, this is the button you can use for taking images like this okay and you can choose uh, from a lot of you know effects here at the bottom again you can save it you can share it or you can give in additional effects to it you also can delete this image directly from this uh, dustbin icon here anyway going back if you move this slider to the left you have additional effects you know you have this random effect enhanced magic skin uh, HDR sketch and so on if you move this to right we have these various templates, you know, the one you get with this uh, Photofania, these kind of templates here. So that's really nice. Again, you can enable your flash from here and disable it as well. You also can, uh, you also have this uh, torch option with this camera. So that's a really good add-on here. You also can, uh, you know, choose the focus mode, the auto and the macro. You can uh, swap your cameras from here. Okay. So you also can give in the timers and stuff and you can move on to this additional settings uh, from here. So you have this white balance uh, and so on from here. Whether you are taking the picture in the daylight, uh, you can do that setup from there. So guys, here we also have the screen suit mode. So once this is on, okay, now you do anything, it's recorded, okay. So that's a really nice add-on again. So you have this volume and so on uh, for the SATA sounds and stuff. You have this uh, image stabilizer. You can uh, do your additional setup for your exposure value and so on. Moving on to advanced setup here. Smart use. You can uh, do your additional settings, uh, you know, for the smart HD improvement. Auto save when back. This means when you press the back button, the picture or the video will be automatically saved and so on. So you can just play around with all these settings you know you can do your settings for your photos as in the photo quality photo size and so on you also can do this for your camera settings so you can play around with the settings and uh, you know give in your required settings as per the conditions so that's my number three there so guys the next one here in my list is the split camera HD so with this camera you know you have uh, two screens as in uh, the interface is divided into two screens and you know you can just uh, either do this you know horizontal the landscape mode or the vertical mode okay and you also can you know select the space as in the area for the first frame and the second frame you can swap the cameras as in you can use the front facing camera you can enable or disable flash you also can uh, you know set your timer so that it will automatically capture images and you can use this button to take the image so let let me just quickly show you an example how it exactly works so i just took these pictures uh, from my room here and uh, this app is better you know say if you take uh, one image with a certain pose on one frame and in the another frame you can use a different pose and then you can combine it you also have this blending options so that uh, you know the image feels you know fading to the second frame you can just choose the level as you can see the change and you also can add various effects to it okay and uh, once done you can hit the save button so this is really good you know particularly you know when you upload pictures on your facebook twitter and so on so that's really nice so that's my number four so the last one for this video is the paper camera guys this is much of an uh, you know fun app it's a fun camera app because you know you have so many cool effects you know the whole thing seems like you know it's as if it's painted or sketched you have so many various, I mean, you have so many effects to choose from. Bleaching, Gotham Noir, and so on. Here, at the bottom, you can change it from here. You also can, uh, you know, swap the cameras. You can go on to additional setup. You also have this contrast setting, brightness settings, and lines setting here. And uh, you can uh, swap to video mode and the image mode. Okay, and uh, once you're done, you can start taking images from here. So a really cool app, you know, I'd say. 
so that's pretty much it guys that's all for this app so guys uh, that's all for this video i'll be coming up with more cool applications uh, camera applications as well as uh, other applications for android devices so stay tuned for more please subscribe and you guys have a great day bye bye now